welcome this is energy vibration reading for april and we are looking at the ophiosis welcome ophiosis welcome back everyone welcome newcomers please remember to um subscribe subscribe yeah all right um judgment judgment in the first week ophiosis whatever is happening and transpiring judgment some sort of information is coming out ophiosis in the first week it's a water week emotions emotions going to be a very emotional way um, then we have some sort of a new start is coming in in the second week. This is a hero week, some sort of a new start. A lot of you Ophiosis are going to be having in the second week. The third week is uh, um, the energy of the lovers. Some of you could be beginning some sort of a new relationship, some sort of a new contract could be coming in. And the fourth week is the energy of the Empress. I see some sort of a balance. I see a lot of your Ophiosis is recognizing, um, you know, that you really care about a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or you recognize that this person, um, you know, creates um, really a positive love energy for you. Some of you, this is your ex-wife. Some of you, uh, you know, I've been thinking whether or not you wanted a new start with this person. All right. So you have water here, another time water, and a lot of you are dealing with your mother, your wife, or a of your materialistic stability. But it's coming up as a mother or a wife, okay? Then we recognize uh, the four of worlds, some sort of an emotional situation, a judgment call. Um, and I see the thorns, uh, the five of thorns. I see judgment call on a cancer in the first week. A lot of you are recognizing something about a cancer. Then we see the seven of veils, um, an emotional new start for a lot of you. That is going to be good. Then we see the creator of the Tones, the creator of the tones is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. Some sort of a new start is going to be coming up for this person, okay? And that is good. Then we see the mystic of the veils. The mystic of the veils is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. This is coming up as a Cancer, a Scorpion man. Then we see the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And I see a whole lot of money is going to be returning to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Then we see the Nine of Candles. The Nine of Candles is that a lot of you are going to be protecting a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman from a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion man. An end is here for a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion man. They have recognized and had gotten detail over this man. And the end is here for this man. So whoever is this mystic of the veils is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. They recognize something about this man. So judgment, judgment, judgment in the first week. And this judgment is coming down. Um, and I see your emotion is going to be um, ending. And I see hardship, hardship for a Cancer. Whoever this Cancer is or a Scorpion, some sort of a judgment for a Cancer. Because they recognize something about a cancer. So let's go in the first week. Judgment call is coming up. And I see you have released your emotions. And you're standing and looking at some sort of a problems just blowing up in your face. Okay. And you're standing there and recognizing a huge problem that is just blowing up in your face or is blowing up in a cancer face so judgment over and this is really positive for some of you because it's about a whole lot of money being returned to some of you because they recognize what a cancer have done or you could be returning a whole lot of money because you recognize what a cancer have done a new start, the second week. I love this energy. I love the energy of the new start. Your emotions is going to be over. A lot of you were going through emotional situation because a cancer man had created a lot of problems for a lot of you. A cancer man had created a whole lot of problems for a whole lot of you. And they're now recognizing what a cancer man 
have done what a cancer man have done to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. They're now recognizing the working of a cancer man, what this cancer man have done to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. And I see a lot of you are making sure that a cancer man does not get a new start. Whoever this cancer man is, whatever this cancer man or a Pisces cancer or scorpion man, they are recognizing that a scorpion man and a cancer man have created a whole lot of issues for a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. And now people are now recognizing and seeing the truth of what a scorpion man and a cancer man has done to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. And I see a lot of you are going to be helping this person to have some sort of a new start. Um, in the third week, the energy of the lover. Um, and this is about uh, um, having some sort of an emotional situation that is coming up. Some of you are dealing with some sort of an emotional situation in your marriage or in your relationship or some sort of an emotional situation with your partners, okay? A lot of you are trying to protect yourself, protect yourself from this emotional instability that is in your world. And this emotional stability was created by a scorpion man for a lot of you, Pisces Cancer or scorpion man. And this man has paid a lot of money and took a lot of money from some of you. So some of you, if you were married or... um uh marry or in business with a pisces cancer or a scorpion man they're going to be recognizing that this man has stolen a lot of money from you ophiosis okay um this man is an ex lover ex partner they're going to be recognizing that this man has took a lot of money um from you guys so then we have the energy of the empress and a lot of you were married to a pisces cancer or scorpion man or recognize that the spicy cancer scorpion man have another wife okay a lot of you and this other wife is a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn okay um yeah or is in love um with a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn so a lot of you women are going to be recognizing that your husband that is a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person was in love with a a Taurus a, a, a Taurus woman was in love with a Taurus woman okay some sort of information is going to be coming out a lot of you are standing your ground and is protecting yourself and your money and an end is going to be coming in to a Scorpion man and a cancer man who have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue a lot of you are going to be recognizing um what you're protecting your mother or your wife from this scorpion man so a lot of you are going to be dealing with a scorpion man a lot of emotional situation with your husband um that is going to be coming up okay a lot of emotional situation with your husband that is going to be coming up a lot of you are going to be recognizing what this um, older man has done and how this older man has took a lot of money and have stolen a lot of money from a whole lot of you. So the hardship, the financial hardship that a, some of you were going through, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person is going to be helping you out and is going to be ending that financial hardship that a lot of you were going through, okay? They're going to be recognizing what was happening. And they're going to be ending this. So I see, um, you you know, you women are standing your grounds. Whatever is happening in transpiring, you women are standing your grounds. And a lot of you women are protecting your mother um, in this stage. And a lot of you women are going to be protecting your stability and your financial stability. And I see some sort of an end uh, to someone that was creating issues and problems is going to over. A judgment call is going to be coming up on a cancer. And they're going to be recognizing and you guys are going to be getting a new start. The hardship is now going to be over between you and your partner because whoever that was intervening, they're going to be removing them. Then I see a lot of you who are married to a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man. Um, you're going to be recognizing that there is a third party and is a Taurus woman. 
So be aware of this. A lot of you are standing your ground and protecting your financial stability and ending some sort of a problem that a lot of you were dealing with a cancer man and a scorpion man because they recognize who the cancer man and the scorpion man is and what they have done. Okay, so people are now recognizing that and seeing what was happening. Your emotional imbalance is going to be over with a scorpion. Whoever was in a marriage or a relationship with a scorpion, you're going to be stopping it. You're going to be protecting yourself from the scorpion man and what you have done. The hardship, financial hardship is going to be over. And I see a whole lot of you are going to be helping a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person to protect their money. Okay, you're very much going to be helping the Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person to help to protect their money. I see some sort of a... Um, hardship for a Taurus woman, whoever this Taurus woman is, whatever she has gotten herself in, I see an end is going to be coming in. So were you married to the Taurus woman? Who is the Taurus woman? Is she your mom? Who is the Taurus woman? I see some sort of an ending is coming up. A lot of you were having some sort of a hardship and they're going to be recognizing that a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person was going through a whole lot of issue and it was created by a cancer, okay? And they're going to be ending it. All right, so I see some sort of a block. Some sort of a block is here. And um, whatever the block is here, some of you women could feel as if you're blocked, okay? Some of you men are going to be blocked. Um, you're going to be blocking, um and, and um, a situation in order to protect a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Peace is going to be finally coming through because they recognize what a Scorpion man have done and they are going to be blocking the Scorpion man. Long-term stability is going to be here for you Sagittarian uh, Ophiosis because uh, what they recognize is that they're bringing an end to, to um, some sort of a um, issue and problem that some of you were dealing with with your wife or with your mom. Now, I see a block on your financial situation, Ophiosis, and I'm going to be looking um, to see what is this block all about. Okay, so let's me use this one. It's the first time I'm checking out. But I see a block to your... The Empress is about your financial situation. It's about your mom. Um, it's about your wife and I see some sort of a block is going to be placed there. Okay. It's, it's kind of your wife, your ex-wife. Um, let's see why this person is going to be blocked. Okay. Um, the Empress and the Mountain. What is happening? What the energy of the Empress and the Mountain. Um, okay. An end is coming up to the block. The investigation is now over and a lot of you are going to be successful. So it was as if a lot of you, your financial stability was blocked and it's because there was some sort of an investigation that was going on. But now you are going to be successfully overcoming this. Okay, so um, this is what came out. So I had to ask this because I see it by the woman. So the mountain is a block and the block is going to be ending okay that to the block because there was some sort of an investigation that was going on and you have successfully overcome um what this investigation was all about okay so that is good um poo, 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 poo. um mm, okay let's move on something else i was going to say all right, so number 29, the Eind, and Eind is here, um, and this is positive. Um, the hardship that some of you were uh, going through, if you had a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, and there was some sort of a block, um, this is going to be coming to an end. So the world is here, and that is going to be good. The world is here, and that is really going to be good. I know what I was looking for. Okay, so... Uh, Ophio says, um, judgment is, uh, is 20. That is four. You, Ophio says, are the first person. That is seven. That is five. That is 10. 
um, that there is no double number. You guys are the only person that comes up and there's no double number. So there is something different about you, Ophiosus, reading in the month of April. There is absolutely no double number. We have four, we have seven, um, we have nine, uh, we have five, we have ten, and we have six. There's no double numbers for you guys. You guys are the first one that comes out with no double number. A cycle is going to be over. And the hardship that some of you were having with a um, a Taurus woman, it is now over. I see the Taurus woman. You're turning your back to the Taurus woman and ending some sort of a situation. Number 11, duality. Number 11 is here in the first week going in the second week. That is that is the strangest thing. I think you guys will have number six, but it's about the end of a marriage, end of a relationship. Number six, end of marriage, end of relationship. Long-term stability is going to be returning for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Movement, movement. So materialistic stability, um, this is going to be changing for a lot of you Ophiosas. Uh, 10, new start to your financial stability. 10 is going to be a double number, okay? There is your double number. It's coming up by your financial stability. So number 10, your financial stability changes is coming up in your financial stability, and this is good. Wow, well-deserved reward. Okay, Ophiosis, you shock me all the time. When I am looking and I'm not seeing it, you guys just blow the wool off my head. All righty. So, could um, you, Ophiosis, are going to be receiving a whole lot of money. It's as if this money was blocked and this money is now going to be released. You, Ophiosis, could have blocked a whole lot of money in order to find out if it was the right person. And now you're going to be releasing it. Now you're going to be receiving it. The blocks are over. Long-term stability is here. And I see that you, Ophiosis, are going to be have long-term um, financial stability. Okay, this is this is like um, if you have a business overseas, this is going to be long term and it's going to be creating a whole lot of wealth for you, Ophiosa. So if you decide to start a business international, yes, go for it because your business is going to be taking off um, whatever blocks that was placed against your business overseas. And that is now coming to an end. I see that money is going to be returning to a lot of you, Ophiosis, and this is going to be good. And whatever business you start overseas is going to be picking up and it's going to be creating long-term stability for you, Ophiosis, and this is going to be good. Yay, 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 yay. So wonderful, wonderful. Um, so you guys have double 10 and that is going to be changes on your money. You have 11, you have 10, and you have 9. 9, 10, 11, but it counts down. 11, 10, 9. Wow. Okay, so write these numbers down. You have a double whammy, which is 10, and it's all about the changes in your financial situation. Uh, then you have 11, uh, 29, 28, 10, and another 9. Okay, so this is going to be good. And this 9 is coming up because this is well, well deserved. Whatever is coming in is well deserved and it's going to be very much so long term. So whatever is coming in is well deserved. Okay, so it's like money you are waiting for is going to be coming in as well deserved and you're going to have long term stability. So if anyone decided to create a business overseas and say yes, go for it. It is going to be very satisfactory. I love you guys. I got to go. Namaste until next time. Please remember to thumbs up, share these videos. Go and check out your full moon reading and also um, your um, Aries uh, reading because they're going to be now recognizing who you are and what is happening. I do love you guys. Namaste.